Hello, let's have a look here at the specimen of a liver. This here represents a transverse slice of the liver and there is another organ adjacent to it which you can probably figure out along the way. I won't tell you what it is yet. So let's turn this around and please pay attention to the capsular surface as well as we are turning the pot and we can look at it over here. And this is the opposite surface and now coming back again now just stopping at the capsular surface, if we were to look up and down, you can see that the capsular surface appears somewhat irregular and nodular. And this is present throughout the entire slice. Let's come back again to the original surface and take a tour of the cut section. So we want to decide whether this is a discrete or a diffuse process. And as you can see here, um, this abnormal abnormality in architecture is present throughout the entire slice. Therefore, this is a diffuse process which involves disruption of the architecture of the liver by nodules of varying sizes. And these nodules range in size, if you look at the scale down here, uh, from less than 1 cm to roughly a um, maximum size of about 1 cm. So the entire liver parenchyma appears to be disrupted and replaced by nodules of varying sizes. I do not see any single large mass uh, lesion in the liver. This is an example of cirrhosis of the liver. And if you look at the capsular surface here, you can actually appreciate how nodular it is. And this will appear as a shrunken liver, so it will not be palpable clinically. Uh, what are some of the causes that we can look at and think about um, look for in this particular specimen? Well, one of the causes is uh, biliary causes such as biliary um, cirrhosis or sclerosing cholangitis, primary sclerosing cholangitis. And usually the biliary causes will confer a dark greenish color to the hepatic parenchyma, which we do not see here. Other than that, it would be very difficult to ascertain the cause. Commonest causes would be things like alcoholic liver cirrhosis, perhaps viral infections like hepatitis B or even hepatitis C. Now let's look at this uh, organ that is adjacent to the liver and uh, we can see that it appears to be a tubular organ that has been opened up and if you haven't already guessed this is the esophagus. This is a segment of the esophagus and what we're looking at is the mucosal surface and we're trying to show here this darkish uh, area which represents a dilated congested vein. So this is actually uh, an example of esophageal varices which is a complication of cirrhosis due to portal hypertension. And these patients, um, they may go on for quite a while with fairly normal liver function. They may be asymptomatic, but with the development of varices, they are at higher risk of bleeding and they may present with hematemesis or melina. So revise the causes of cirrhosis and also the histological features as well as the gross features.